Here's my E-Rank dashboard showing top keywords, country stats, and even traffic sources. Did you know E-Rank can actually integrate with Google Analytics to show you some great details about how your customers are finding you? If you've not already connected your Etsy shop to a Google Analytics account, I'll link our blog post for, for how to do that. And then you want to click here to give E-Rank permission to fetch the data for you. And don't worry, as with all of your data, E-Rank keeps that private to you. Connecting up doesn't let other E-Rank users see any extra details about your shop, listings, or customers. Google Analytics can only collect data from when you've connected to it. If you've just connected, you'll have to be patient before you start seeing much data. From right on your dashboard, you'll start seeing top keywords. These are the keywords that real shoppers have used to find your listings. Country stats is a great pie chart showing you the breakdown of countries where your visitors have come from and traffic sources show you where these visitors have found you from. These details are a great overview where you can see at a glance if a keyword has suddenly become more successful for you or even if your social media posts are going viral. But you want more details. You can click on the See More button here on your dashboard or from any page on eRank you can get there from Shop Traffic Stats. Like anywhere you're looking at data, you want to pick a time period where you're seeing enough data. For me, the last 15 months is best. Now you can see the keyword you are found for, the number of visits from that keyword, the average position your listings were ranking on Etsy for that keyword, and the final column, traffic source, is blank for now. Now you want to click on any of the keywords that you want to look at more closely. I'm going to go with Corgi. And there is even more data. I can see each listing that was found for that keyword with a thumbnail, title, tags. The yellow is to highlight where the keyword is in your title and tags. If your ranking position was fairly low and you didn't have the keyword in your title or tags, then it may be worth thinking about adding it. But as always, never change listings that are performing well. The number of visits for that listing for that keyword, the average position on Etsy that listing was ranking on Etsy and the traffic source is showing where the person saw your listing on the Etsy organic search or from an Etsy ad. From these tabs at the top we can see where people found your listings from social media or other sources. If instead of looking at all the data for a certain keyword you're interested in the data for one of your listings you can click view traffic stats beside one of your listings. Now you see all the keywords that, that listing was found for, the number of visits that listing had for that keyword, the check marks show you if the keyword is found in your tags and titles. For example, I see I was being found for a cat butt. That's not in my title and tags, but I'm not going to change this listing, not only because it's doing well, but also because it isn't a cat. But I may consider making similar listings for a cat butt bookmark as people seem to like this style. You can also see here the time of the most recent visit from that keyword. These stars beside a keyword mean you can add them to a keyword list to save them for later. Most of these you can see are gold. That's because I've already added them to my 2023 keyword list as there were good keywords for my listing last year and I want to keep an eye on them. The first tab here is showing organic traffic. We can also look at Etsy ads, Pinterest and Facebook traffic. From here, you can go to the listing audit for this listing or edit it on Etsy if you want to make any changes. With your traffic stats active on eRank, there are some other places you can see extra data like the listing audit for each listing and the Spotted on Etsy tool. If you want to know more about the Spotted on Etsy tool, you want to check out this video. And if there are any more E-Rank tools you would like to learn more about, please let me know in the comments below.